grab your drinks and your treats. Boom, boom, boom. Say hi to Agnes. Welcome to the Mukbang Madness. Hey, y'all. Welcome into a Mukbang Madness. Welcome in, welcome in to another Mukbang Madness. Say hi to Agnes. Don't forget to be saying hi to Agnes. Y'all know she fly from the UK for these live streams. She be tripping. Make sure you say hi to her. How y'all doing, y'all? How y'all been? Well, today we're going to get into a nice little quick mukbang today and just talk about a few things that's been happening lately over the internet. You know what I'm saying? So today I just got a drenched in sauce type of mukbang going on today. I got some shrimp. I got some uh, potato. I got some edamame in here. I love edamame, y'all. I love, love, love edamame. So I have all that swimming down up in this sauce swimming down up in this luxurious sauce you know y'all it's the queen sauce but i had to uh add some stuff because it got low it got low but you know oh i got some rotisserie chicken right here too so, we're going to see how that rotisserie hit. I know this edamame hit real good in here, though. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah, I want us to just come in and talk about... I've been going on, on the internet the internet been blowing up you know Kobe passed away and recently Snoop Dogg went in on Gail King because Gail asked the question that she probably shouldn't have had asked too soon you know Gail probably shouldn't have had to ask that question it was too soon you know asking about Kobe's um you know the little charges that he had brought up against him that was completely thrown out in court he was exonerated against but as a journalist does She felt the need to ask this question. Now, Shamir, why would you do that? You know what I mean? Why would you ask that sort of question to any of his colleagues at this very moment? You know what I'm saying? Come on now. I just thought it was very insensitive of her. Regardless of how she said her network. Uh, edited it out. Like they edited it to make her sound bad or look bad or whatever. with that sauce on it. Ooh. said her network edited it, edited it wrong. She was mad. We should have been mad. But I was wondering why 
she even asked the question. You know what I'm saying? Try it. Oh, I forgot I had the two times spicy sauce, y'all. Ooh. I'm about to open this. I'm about to try this on some of this. I just got some of the sauce. Ooh. That's that hot, hot sauce. Okay, I'm about to dip some of this. Ooh, that's a lot, Keisha. I'm not tripping. I'm tripping. This thing is hot. Uh. Sometimes spicy, y'all. Hit that friend. But yeah, back to Gail. You know, I just wonder why she even asked the question. You know, why would you even ask a question like that at a time like this? Like it's not the right time to be really asking these. Just asking these journal. Or journalistic. You, sometimes you got to have some compassion. I mean, no. How much this man meant to people, a city, you know what I'm saying? A state. He passed away with his daughter. And we're talking about some rape allegations that he completely got exonerated from. I didn't appreciate that from her. Not from her. And I really am like Snoop Dogg. Why are Gail and Oprah coming for their own community. Funky dog head bitch. Mm -hmm. Although he have apologized for calling her that, but dang man, it's like Snoop Dogg is from the streets. You feel me? He's from the streets. So he gonna say how he feel. And I felt him on that. Because listen here, my guy. That man had just passed away. And here you go asking one of his colleagues about some rape. And then get mad. Because we got mad. But should have been mad at yourself for asking the question. Now, she started receiving death threats and stuff, which I don't agree with. That's overboard. Now, you want to tell somebody how you feel? Tell them how you feel. But death threats, come on. Death threats is overboard. You don't want to wish no harm on nobody. Not death, especially. And I know Snoop Dogg didn't mean that. He did come out and say that. He don't wish no harm on that woman. You know what I'm saying? He got a mama. He got a grandma. He got, you know. But She needed to be told how people would really feel and really react on something like that outside of a journalistic, proper, articulate manner. This is how a person from the streets going to come at your ass if you, be, if you come sideways with their homeboy, their homegirl, their family member that just passed away. 
Of course, he called when he was like, uh, can I call her one? I'm over here like, call her one, call her one, call her one. <laughs> I was. Because she deserved that. We just lost that man tragically. All of a sudden. We just seen and him and his little daughter at the Laker game. The memes was going around how she had that look. Like she was... Mm -mm. And then here you go. Not even thinking about his daughter. Think about her ratings and all that. You know what I'm saying? Like that was horrible. But today Snoop Dogg did apologize to her. Which That's a good stand-up thing to do as a man. After he said his piece. And apologized to her. Especially with all the backlash that she got. But. Gail and Oprah. They tripping right now on the black community. I don't know why. And they're not tripping on nobody else is doing Yes, but like I was saying, my last ended. I was like, uh, Oprah is coming for the black community. And I don't understand why. You know? And maybe that's what gave her little friend Gail, like, the ammo to go ahead and say something sideways about Kobe. You know? Because that wasn't a good question to ask. What she going to do is tarnish his legacy by asking dumbass questions. Ain't nobody been thinking about none of that, what she was talking about for years. That man was how old then? Shit. That man did that one thing, and that shit spooked him to the core. That man ain't did shit since, but been a stand-up man. Stand-up. And then you talk about that shit. Mm -mm. I think it was foul. Some people think Snoop Dogg came at her a little bit too harsh. But look. Like I said, Snoop is from the streets. Sometimes you don't get the best articulated uh, comeback or, or conversation from somebody that's a crip. In front of streets. You feel me? Sometimes somebody just go insane and just gotta let you have it and be like, oh man, damn. Why I do that? Why I do that? I should have thought about that for a minute. But guess what? You don't think about that in in in, 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 the, in the in the moment. Especially when something like that happens. Where a man leave home. To take her daughter to basketball practice and die. They both die. Along with another mother, father, daughter that left behind a young 16 year old daughter. Along with a mother who left behind a husband. And I think two or three young kids. And then another mother who died with her daughter. You know? And then to even think about the moments that they knew they was about to die. They knew they was about to die. It's horrible. It's horrible. And then you're going to try to make out a story for it for journalistic values. You know, I didn't appreciate that. But anyway, that's just my thoughts. And I just wanted to have a little story time on Gail versus Snoop. And Gail. Or Snoop versus Gail. You know. 
Well, I just thought she was foul. <clears throat> and I needed to speak on it because I thought that Snoop had every right to say how he felt. And if that's the way he wanted to articulate himself by calling her a funky dog head bitch, look. That's how he felt like she needed to be addressed at that time. I'm just saying. But yeah, thank you guys so much. Oh, I had some knee high peach, y'all. I can't even get this in California too often. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I just wanted to let y'all just have a little talk about Snoop and Gail and what I feel like, what my point of view is on it. But I really do think that they come in for the black community in certain ways and they're not really going after other people in certain other races that are doing the same thing. And it's not cool. It's not right. And I mean, you are journalists, you do your do. But my thing is, mix it up. Don't just start coming for your people. Trying to tear people down. And digging up and trumping up. Trumping up stuff. You feel me? So, I'm done. I'm full. Thank you guys so much for coming into my story time rant. Say bye to Agnes. Thanks for coming into my mukbang madness. I appreciate y'all.